what up fam bam hello my loves hello 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 um welcome to today's video so today's video consists of like this cranberry end of summer beginning of fall look you guys i'm so so happy that we are approaching fall i think like the ending of summer beginning of fall is like my favorite season because it's not too hot and it's not too cold it's just perfect you guys it's like sweaters and hoodies and oh i'm so excited so who else is excited for fall let me know down in the comments below you guys but this is the look that i came up with sorry i'm looking like a bum my hair is like picked up my hair is no normally not picked up like this you guys but and it's been feeling really crappy so this is the look it's like a nice like very like pinky red with a pink uh nude and i'm like obsessed with this look you guys so like always make sure you hit that subscribe button become part part of the fam bam um make sure you turn click the bell so this way you guys will be notified every single time i upload a brand new video you guys which we're getting back into the habit um i do mention later on in the video about my surgery that i'm getting um that is going to be up on my vlog channel i will leave once i get my vlog channel set up for you guys i will leave a link in the description box so once all of that is done and after my uh, recovery time i'll be back to uploading more videos for you guys um but yeah you guys um so without further ado here is how to get this look you guys i hope you guys enjoy Alright you guys, so we're going to go in with my Royals palette, which is by uh, Bad Habits. You can find this on shophush.com. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Um, but this is a dupe to the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to show you guys right now. Look how pretty this palette is, you guys. Like, this palette is gorge. So we're going to go in with hair, which is this like orange right here this like burnt orange which is like the burnt orange in um the modern renaissance palette by abh and we're gonna use a aoa studio brush this is their e135 and that's gonna be like our transition shade so that is the color that is gonna go into our crease and this is just gonna warm up this um cranberry um the little like cranberry look so this is gonna be like still still gonna be more cranberry still gonna be more red you guys but it's um this is gonna like keep it warm is what i'm trying to say and if you guys can see the fan is on it is very hot here in new york so i got my fan on right now So after we have those two colors done, I'm going to go in with my uh, AOA Studio, their pink collection. This is the 130 brush. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of mixture with Royal and Majestic here. So this is going to be like our main two colors that I'm going to use. This is just going to be a like mixture of both and it's very like pigmented. So you see how I have this like orange literally like right here so we're just gonna blend and we still have the orange out which is good you can still see like hair like the burnt orange shade transition type of shade so when this is gonna be our main color and it's okay we get it onto your lid onto your lid because we're just gonna cut the crease out anyway you guys but i wanted to talk to you guys quickly about what has been going on in the um beauty community you guys this is it has been freaking crazy lately like um with the whole drama with like between beauty gurus and everything you guys if this is what it has come to I don't, oh, I don't know, you guys. YouTube used to be a place where there was no drama, none of that crap, you guys. Like, honestly. But anyways, just wanted to give you a little insight 
also another thing i'm gonna start up my vlog channel up I, again i think um sometime this week i have a doctor's appointment on thursday to speak with the surgeon i'm getting i'm getting surgery you guys and um i'm gonna be talking about that more on my vlog channel so once my vlog channel is up and everything i will leave a link to it in the description box so you guys go and check it out but yeah you guys um it's, it's a small surgery it's nothing to really worry about surgeries all in all are scary but um we'll get into that in a second so i'm gonna cut my crease and i'm gonna go in with my pro concealer like always and what i'm gonna do you guys usually when i cut my crease i cut it a little bit higher than my um my natural crease because i do have like hooded eyes so i cut it um a little bit higher than my original crease so i just put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand you guys and i'm gonna take it onto the same concealer brush that i used before me so we're gonna go in with this color right here this sparkly color and it's called queen it's like a white like a pinky color you guys and we're going to set this cut crease um so we're going to set this And this palette, you guys, for it to be a decent price, it is a very pigmented. So we're going to go back in with the same two colors before, you guys, Royal and Mystic, Majestic. And we're just going to blend out this harsh line that I have going on here on the same brush that we applied those colors before. And literally, you guys, all I'm doing is just going like this to it so I could like, blend it out. bottle so you see it's still the orange that there you guys it keeps it like it gives it that warm look and then the red and obviously like that those two reds just give it that pop of mm, the cranberry look so you guys i'm gonna go put on some mascara and i'm gonna use my um nicole guerrero allure lashes guys that look like these i'm gonna put those off of camera and i'll be right back you guys all right you guys so i am back so my lashes and mascara are on that's what this is looking like so i'm gonna be going with two primers because my face is a very like oily right now so right here where my pores are at right here on my cheeks you guys i'm gonna be using the cover fx blurring primer for that you guys so it's gonna be um, I used this, I think, once, and you guys have saw, like, my reaction to it. I wasn't, like, a really big fan, and I don't like the fact that it feels like there's nothing in here. No, maybe it's just me. So. So... But I just gonna put that right here on my pores because it's gonna be like a blurring um effect because it's like a blurring primer so we're just gonna put that right here and then I'm gonna go on with my Rimmel Matte State Matte this is a mattifying primer you guys and I'm like oily in my T-zone so we are going to use this guy and it smells this is like it smells so good and it feels very i've used this a couple times before you guys um 
it's very moisturizing it feels it's very thick it is very thick you guys it smells um it smells um very um ah oh, what is that it smells like paint primer that's what it smells like you guys i hope this lighting is okay by the way you guys like my um like really cloudy right here in new york today you guys and it looks like it's gonna rain so anyways we're gonna go on my milani uh two in one foundation and concealer this is in the color light beige i'm just gonna pump some on the back of my hand I'm gonna go in with my AOA Studio um, blending bra uh, blending uh, sponge, you guys. So I just wipe wipe some off of the uh, cap that was there, you guys. But like I said, you guys, I'm getting surgery. Um, I have an appointment with the surgeon on Thursday, and um, I'm gonna get I'm getting surgery. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna speak more about it on my vlogging on my vlogging channel you guys so i will let you know once that is up but basically what is happening is i i'm getting a teratoma removed okay. anyways sorry about that my dad came into the room guys um oh my sponge no okay so my pump just broke you guys it's not pumping I was saying you guys so basically what it is so okay so a teratoma and i'm gonna talk about the backstory and everything more like i said on my vlogging channel you guys so what it is is basically um a deformed baby that didn't end up in your uterus and grew out on the outer um of your uterus so it's like a cyst kind of like a cyst but it it's a disformed baby so basically it has teeth eyes hair all of that and you need surgery to get removed so like i said on thursday when i get back from my doctor's appointment i will be speaking more about that and i will let you guys know the surgery date and everything so i have my foundation. so i got my foundation put on so we're gonna go in with my mac uh, studio press powder this is in the color light plus and I'm like hitting pan on it right you guys and literally we're just gonna go in and set this foundation and basically what I do is I tap the found I tap the powder in I don't um swirl it around because I feel like that moves the foundation and I don't I'm applying this on the elf powder brush but I don't really like this brush it's really, really spiky very like spiky very very spiky ish anyways ow that actually hurt <laughs> um we are literally like almost done you guys i don't really do much else um quickly though i'm gonna go back into my royal, pa royal palette you guys and on um, with the same like two red shades the regal right here regal and majestic we're gonna do our lower lash line this is the wrong brush I'm gonna go use a vintage company. I think this is like their number three brush. It's like a little flat little shader brush. And we're just gonna put this on our bottom lash line. I'm the only one that makes like weird faces when I'm doing my bottom lash line, you guys. I'm gonna go back with my little fluffy blush. Go back in with my Tarte 
uh, this is the mascara I would use, you guys. It's Tartus Tart Mascara. I'm going to my thumb, which is what I'm trying to wash there. And we're just going to put mascara on our bottom lashes. My hair is in the way. Close my eye. Close my eye, guys. Close my eye. Ah. So I'm gonna go in with a highlighter that I've been loving lately, you guys. So this is the Bella Noire. I hope I'm saying that right. Their um, collection. This is their Diamond Highlighting. You guys, I'm gonna swatch a few of these for you. You guys can see. So this is what the highlighters look like, right? I'm gonna swatch the first three. Okay. Look at this. Are you ready? You ready for this, you guys? You ready? Look at this beauty of like, yeah. So this is actually what I have on my inner corner and on my eyebrow. So we're actually gonna go on with this brush that I kind of just got on um, a little bit of eyeshadow on. And on my eyebrow, we're just gonna go on with this like pink um, holographic one, which is gorgeous, you guys. I'm obsessed with this palette. Like I reach for that more than any of my other like makeup uh highlighting palettes that i have and this has slowly become like a staple like a holy grail highlighting palette for me you guys like literally and then we're gonna go in with my uh, this is my Doe Color Brush. Um, this is their number three. This is the brush I used to highlight. Um, this is from their Fanny to Steve set, you guys. So you just look them up and um, that's where we're gonna... You could find these brushes at. They don't sell them individually. It's a set. And again, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on the skin. So you guys could see it. My face looks swollen, you guys. I'm having like a weird um, reaction to the humidity in New York but do you not do you see that you guys it's like a gorgeous like pinky blue purple holographic color i'm like obsessing with this like this is so pretty like i love 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 and to finish this off, we're going to apply this MDM Flow. Um, I think this is like a liquid lipstick, you guys. I got this in one of my boxy charms. This is like a pinky new lip. And I think it's like perfect for this uh, look, you guys. So... Alright you guys, and there is the final look. I hope you guys, and oh wait, 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 we can never forget the uh, setting spray. So this is my Mac Fix Plus. Alright guys, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I had so much fun filming this look for you guys, and I'm so happy to be back doing videos for you guys. I've been like kind of down in the dumps, but like I said, that's going to be another video for my vlog channel so i love you guys all so much like always i'll leave in the description box my instagram and my twitter so make sure to go follow me on there um and yeah you guys i love you all so much you guys and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys